After several videos in the FSC series, we've received many positive feedback from our subscribers. Since many of you asked one more part about template part, we came up with a tutorial that has everything you need about this feature. Hi, you're on the Motopress channel. My name is Valerie, and in this video, we'll discuss what template parts are, their applications and use cases. We will also delve into benefits, customization options, how template parts work, and how to create new ones. So let's begin. Template parts are a big part of block-based themes, with block themes planning a website layout revolves around blocks, which gives a great level of flexibility. So, template parts take one of the center stages among the principal components that contribute to building a powerful block theme. Template parts are pieces of a layout that can be reused across various areas of your site. I mean any part of a website not located within the content area. Obvious examples will be a header, footer, sidebar, comments, post meta. In comparison to templates, template parts represent smaller sections of content that can be added to one or more templates. So they break down the overall template structure into smaller, manageable units and function as smaller structural sections of a page template. Template parts allow users to create a consistent look and feel throughout uh, their website. On top of that, users save time as they don't have to recreate the same elements on multiple pages. Consequently, if you change blocks inside a template part, the editor updates the blocks on every template that includes this particular template part. To access template parts from the WordPress admin, you should first have an installed block theme on your site. With a the block theme, you can edit template parts with the site editor. So navigate to the Appearance tab, open Editor menu. If there is no editor, it means you use a traditional theme. Please verify your chosen theme is compatible uh, before using this feature. After the editor loads, we can click the Patterns item in the sidebar and under the pattern categories you can find a list of the available template parts that your theme has. Now let's look through all of the template parts I have in Prime, the block theme by Motopress I'm using in this tutorial. But I have to warn you, each theme may provide different template parts to customize their specific options may vary depending on the blog theme you have selected for your site. The header represents the top area of your website pages and often contains uh, a title and navigation menus. Uh, you can create different variations of the header for different pages of your site. For example, Prime has two headers and one of them has a mega menu. And besides editing these two headers, it's possible to rename or delete them. Footer is the type of template part representing the bottom area of your uh, website, uh, typically featuring consistent information and necessary links. General is a versatile template part that it's not specifically tied to any specific area of your site. You can use it to build predefined blocks to be used on different pages or of your site. In my case, this is a sidebar uh, displaying post content. So, 
Next, I'll select the specific template part to customize. For example, I can click on footer to modify the footer section of my site. Once you've chosen the template part, you'll have the ability uh, to customize its blocks. Depending on the part you're editing, you can make changes to different components. I must admit the site editor provides an intuitive interface to modify these elements. First, I want to clear customizations that were made before. After this, I click on the pencil icon to start editing by clicking the three horizontal lines icon. At the top of my screen, I see a list of all blocks in my template part and how everything is laid out using list view. You can move, remove, and add new blocks as needed. First, I'd like to change the order of the items in the navigation block and then reorder columns. Then I'll try to change the background color for the group block. When you have completed making changes to the template part, click on the blue Save button and this will save your changes. Now let's get back to patterns and see how you can create a new template part from scratch. Creating a new template part is also quite straightforward. Clicking the plus icon next to the patterns heading will display a drop down with several options. The create template part is the one that we need. Now a pop-up window will appear with the three types of template parts. You can create a general, header and footer. By default, the general option is already selected. You can choose any of the given options. Now provide a name for the template part. Then click on the blue create button. Next, you will be presented with a blank screen with the name of your template part displayed at the center uh, and top of the screen. To start building your template part, click on the plus sign in the top right corner. You can then select blocks or patterns to construct your desired layout within your template part. I decided to start with a three column block. Inside the first column, I want to add a heading and the last post block. In the second column, I'm going to insert a spacer and a site title. And the third column is for the heading again and social icons. After adding all social icons, I'm trying to figure out what adjustments I should make for my footer to look nice. Again, the list view is the perfect tool for fine-tuning the final result, the final look. And I will also apply color to the column's background. Once you have finished creating the template part, click on the Save button in the top right corner, and this completes the creation of your template part. If you navigate back to the list of template parts, you will now see your newly created template part added to this list. And now you see the footer I've just created. Now I'm going to select Manage all template parts to open the template parts page. And here you can also find a list of template parts that your theme has. 
Moreover, once you are in the template parts menu, you can click on the Add New Template Part button located in the top right corner. Then you repeat the same procedure and choose where to place it. The same placement areas are general header or footer. And uh, type a short name for your new template part that describes what's what's it for when you're done select create again this will take you to the isolated template part the so-called template part focus mode and this time i want to show you how to create a template part in a matter of a few clicks so i'm going to copy a pattern uh, from wordpress.org uh, patterns directory and then right click with my mouse and select paste the template part is ready in a blink of an eye excellent let's see what's inside which blocks were used to build this uh, footer. Great. The only thing I'd like to change is the colors. At least look closely at them to experiment with the design. Once you have finalized the design of a new template part and clicked save, the new template part will be available to insert into templates and pages. So now it's high time to insert the newly created template part onto my site. To do this, I go to templates and pick the one from the list. You can go to pages, to select a single page only. So now we see the structure of the template I've picked. Uh, with the help of the list view, I delete the footer and then click plus icon, search for the template part block and click to add this to my site. Then I click choose to browse through my site's template parts and select the one that I need. Here we are. This is the new footer for this template. And you probably noted that my header is sticky and if you wonder how I managed to achieve this, I want to invite you to watch a great tutorial dedicated to this topic. And for now, I don't need it anymore. So the link to the tutorial will be in the description box below. So I'm ready to click save to finalize my design and this is the final look. To review template parts make it easier to maintain and customize particular section of your block theme like the header or footer. They consist purely of blocks and if you know how to work with blocks you know how to work with template parts, so it's easy to customize the existing ones and build new ones from scratch. So I think that's it for today. Hope this tutorial helped you to get a clear picture of creating and editing WordPress template parts. So if you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it for more WordPress related tutorials. All you have to do is to click on that subscribe button. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.